Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we are in Matthew 4, verses 1 through 4. And then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command these stones to become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Okay. So we want to look at this. First of all, um, we have this principle already in play. All right. Uh, back in chapter 1 with uh, the angel coming to Joseph and uh, Joseph being a righteous man. But Joseph yields to the word of the Lord. Then chapter 2, how is it that the wise men live? Well, after they go and they meet child Jesus, in, you know, young, young child Jesus, toddler Jesus, it says uh, that the angel of the Lord, you know, uh, that, 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 that they've been warned in a dream not to return to Herod. They left for their own country by another way, by another road, okay? And then after they left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in dream, saying, Get up, take child, his mother flee to Egypt, remain there till I tell you. Okay, so what you have here is already in the life of Jesus is that those who will listen to God live by the word of God. Now, Tyler, do you remember what the historical context of verse 4 is in Matthew 4? It's something to do with the law, doesn't it? Okay. So this statement is found in reference to the manna. Man doesn't live by manna alone, but by every word of God. Every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. That already had the ten plagues. That already had the Red Sea. They've had all this other stuff, yet they don't want to listen to what God tells them. So God gives them manna. And what is the first thing that they do? Moses tells them that on day six, you know, gather double. But every other day, it's only good for that 24 hours. But then you have people that what? I'm not going to listen to that. We ain't moving camp for the next three days. I'll go out and grab three days of manna. That way I can sit in my tent and relax. What happened to that manna? Man, it all went putrid, maggot infested, rotten, nasty. This wasn't just some ooh, oogity boogity spiritual malarkey. Okay? Most preachers who preach this are like, Live by God's word. Yeah, okay. How do I do that, preacher? Well, it's real simple. What does it say? And and I think it's interesting, Tyler, that doing what God says, we already see it in motion before we get here. And then what's going to follow? But three chapters of basically practical application of how to live in the kingdom. How does man live? By every word that proceeds from mouth of God. What about anger? Well, you know, that that that's part of it. What about adultery? What about this? What about oh wait, you mean to tell me all this Sermon on the Mount stuff is Jesus laying out the basic guidelines of how to live by the word of God? Yes. And then all these examples of people by faith, when you get to Matthew 8, the leopard, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. Jesus says, I'm willing. Be there clean. Then the centurion. I'll come to your house. Look, I don't need you to come to the house. I just need you to give the word. Mm -hmm. If you'll give the word from the Father, my servant will be well. Okay. Man, dude, you got some faith. Pow. Oh, wait. That takes us back to the prophet that said, it is written, the just shall live by his faith. Quoted three times in the New Testament. It's one of the few, I think maybe the only one, of the minor prophets that's quoted three times in the New Testament. 
so that when you see this, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This Christian thing is so simple that people choke at it. And as we move through this, we'll, we'll see that more. But what is there in the Sermon on the Mount that you've been playing games with? And I'm not saying the way that your preachers have preached it to you in the past, right? Because people, Tyler's been in, in classes or sermons where people have been like, Oh, love your enemies. How do I do that? Pray for them. Uh, okay. Do right by them and pray for them. And pray for those who persecute me. So I can be children of my Father in heaven. Hmm. Okay. Well, what else? Uh, hmm. Give to everyone who begs from you and don't refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. Okay. Either say yes or say no. Call it good at that. So, uh, it can't be that simple. Can I tell you this? If you can't get something as simple as saying yes or no, you're going to have a hard time with the rest of it. So, temptation to Jesus. Quit trying to make it miracle stuff. Realize that this is practical everyday stuff because give us this day our daily bread. See, I never really thought of those. Yeah. All comes together. Other thoughts, my brother? No, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We'll bid you a good day.